and new this morning, West Nile worries in Beaver County. Yeah, health leaders there trying to battle bugs, mosquitoes specifically, and confirm cases of the virus. Lauren Linder joins us live in Manaka, where there's now a plan in place to try to stop the spread. Lauren, good morning to you. Good morning, David and Lindsay. Well, West Nile virus is present here in Beaver County, so they're taking extra steps by spraying in Manaka to prevent the spread. Now, the borough says the county will conduct a truck mounted spray event tomorrow night between 730 and 10. The goal is to decrease mosquito populations and reduce the risk of West Nile transmission. The pesticide applied is Aqua Duet, which is designed to provide quick, effective control of a adult mosquito populations. People at risk for severe illness include the elderly and people who are immunocompromised. West Nile virus infection causes no symptoms in most people, but others can develop fever, body aches, joint pains, and rash, according to the CDC. In severe cases, it can affect the central nervous system. Here are some t things to keep in mind. It's a mosquito-borne illness, so uh, you try to avoid mosquitoes. You know, dawn and dusk is when they tend to bite. Wear clothing that covers your, you know, your your skin. You can have insect repellent, and then uh, get rid of standing water because you know, in the standing water, uh, that's where the mosquitoes can multiply and and breed. Now, the CDC says while there is no treatment for West Nile, rest, fluids, and pain medications may help alleviate symptoms. Now, experts say if you prefer to uh, stay inside when this occurs, you can, but it's not necessary. It doesn't have any uh, or it has a minimal impact on the environment and animals. For now, reporting live from Manaka, Lauren Linder, Kitty K, TV News.